Hi everyone. <laughs> it's day 60 something and I look like Jen today. Um, wow, it's three weeks after surgery on the nose. It's like five o'clock. So um, I was just waking up from having my boobs ripped apart three weeks ago. And today I look like this. Um, <laughs> today is uh, my son's first um, football game. He's in the marching band. Um, and I didn't really know what to expect out of today. Um, I was discharged this morning from PT after yesterday's vlog and doing too much and having to be back on the gabapentin and going on Motrin. Um, the meds have been working really well, making me super, super, super tired. Um, I'm, I'm on a quasi adrenaline rush right now, mostly because of the shirt I'm wearing, which I'll share about in a second. Um, well, a couple of reasons, but, uh, I talked to the nurse yesterday about this game today and I originally had intended to be there for the duration of the game. And I'm like, that's probably not the smartest thing to do as I'm stepping out for like an outing for the first time with like people. I mean, I know I went out for dinner, but that's different because like you're just walking to the table and you're sitting down and you're only talking to who's near you and that's it. Um, today I'm going to be out on f football and a, and a f on, um, oh, no words, ah, stands, bleachers, thank you, football bleachers at a football stadium. Um, and we'll need to walk down there, which is going to be a lot. I'm not driving. A friend of mine is picking me up. And I think, um, although originally I'm like, yeah, my son will just drive me home at the end of the game. And I'm thinking that's probably a good three hours. And that's really a long time. Baby steps. So I asked, um, Barb if she could pick me up after halftime. Because <coughs> once I do their show... Like, I'm good to go. Um, baby steps. I'll work my way up maybe for the next time they have a game. Um, so, to go out in public requires you getting out of your pajamas and actually putting on clothes that um, people will see you in. And I rested all day today. I had a Zoom with a friend, which is the first time I've had a conversation with a friend back and forth. Um, like face to face, like, you know, no mask because we're on Zoom. And it was after about a half an hour, it was really hard to pay attention. And I'm still really tired now. So I, I truly want to make this brief because I need to focus on resting before the big day. So, or the big night, I should say. Um, so thinking practicality wise, I didn't want to wear the bra that she gave me. Ah, pain. The gap pen is wearing off. I'm gonna take it before I go. I didn't want to wear the bra she gave me yesterday. I got the bra in the mail. That w oh oh I forgot the wrapper for it. Crap! I meant to share that with you. Ugh! It's from a company called True. True something T R U E. Um, it's the one I mentioned before that my friend had sent me one, but it was a size too small. I got the next size up, and it fits like a dream. Um, I don't mind showing you because it looks like a regular camisole, but this is the bra. Um, here's your first look. <laughs> here's the bra. It just looks like, um, and it goes down slightly. I won't go that low. That's as far as you can see. It goes down um, a little bit below my, my whatever line that's called, whatever. Uh, but it's super comfy and it fits. It fits. And it's black, so like you can't, it looks even like a tank top. You know what else I put on today? Deodorant. I'm not gonna show you my hairy pits, but she said I could put some deodorant on and I know that I'm stinky and I don't wanna put perfume on because the bugs will like attack me. So I put on some deodorant today. And when I put it on, um, it was interesting because it's the first time I've really touched under my armpits and it feels like when you have Novocaine on your tongue or on your lip and it's starting to wear off and it's like a little tingly, but your lip is still pretty much numb. Like that's what it feels like. And I understand now why she said, don't 
shave it because you can't really feel. So I didn't shave it, but I did very lightly put like two, oh, my left arm, or my, it's not my, it's, it's the incisions where the, uh, where the drains were. Um, so I did like two swipes of deodorant. I realized that my left hand, I don't have as much range of motion on my left side as my right, um, cause I could do the deodorant with my right hand here and my right hand there, but I couldn't do it with my left hand to my right pit. I don't know why. So I had the bra on and I felt good. I actually traipsed, there's no one at the apartment, but I traipsed around the apartment in my bra, like la 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 la, whatever. Um, I felt really good about it. I felt more normal. Um, and then I feel like I'm getting dressed for a date, you know? It's, it's my date with like the outside world. Um, I'm really hot actually right now, like like warm hot, the air just kicked on. But it's gonna be in the 60s, so I had to look at the temperature to make sure that I'm wearing appropriate stuff because I don't want to be too hot or too cold. I have enough to worry about when I'm there. And my plan is just to, part, you know, hopefully get out as close as we can to the gate so I'm not doing as much walking as, you know, the, the limited amount of, the smallest amount of walking possible and then just walk up the bleachers, sit in my little corner spot and just stay there. Like, don't get up, everyone leave me alone. If you wanna say hi, I'd be like, hey, and that's pretty much it. I don't have the capacity to have a conversation. So if you're if you're local and you're like, hey, Jen didn't say something to me, I don't have the, the physical capacity or mental capacity to be able to process all of that right now. Um, so then it was like, okay, what to wear? So practicality wise, I have my practical sneakers on. Um, I have ankle socks, which isn't super practical because I'll get eaten by mosquitoes, but I'm gonna bring bug spray. Um, but I have my just black sweats on, but they're like fashionable sweats. Um, so it looks like I'm going out jogging, whatever. And I wanted to wear this hoodie, which is the gray hoodie I've worn before, it's sleeveless. But the problem is I'm like, I don't know what to wear underneath it because I need something long sleeved um, a, because it's going to be chilly, and B, because of mosquitoes. I did wear my badass bracelet, just to remind me. And I have my cross and stuff, just to remind me that I have that around me, too. Um, wow, I can even feel my boobs all the way up here. Um, so then the question was, what do I wear that's long-sleeved? I only have one button-down shirt that's long-sleeved, and it's that purple one. And, God, I'm not wearing that again tonight. I, I'm not. I have to get more shirts. I meant to do that today with my friend that I zoomed with and we, we were chatting. We, did, we, we never got to it. So I looked at my closet. I'm not even supposed to reach in my closet. So I know I did overdid a little bit, which I have to stop because I need to be good for tonight. And I'm looking at like what's in my closet. I'm like, I just want a shirt that I could wear underneath this that's like long sleeved. And then I found this shirt which is actually a few sizes too big. I've, um, I think I got an consignment like a while ago. Um, it's it's kind of big, like I have a lot of things in here, but it's, it's like folds, whatever, because if I pulled it out, it'd probably go out to like here or something. I don't care what color it is. The point is that it's long sleeved and it's comfy because it's a little bit too big. Um, and then I realized cow necks. I forgot about how awesome cowl necks are. So here's my cowl neck, if you can see. Um, you know, putting a crew neck shirt on will not work to get it over my head, but a cowl neck shirt on, which I buy them because it looks very, with my former boobs, it looks, um, it looks visually appealing with the former cleavage I had to wear cowl neck shirts. But as the former boobs are now gone, and I have the cow neck shirt. I'm like, wait a minute, cow necks go out to like here and they're stretchy, which means I can get it on. So I put my arms in the sleeve. Oh, I hope I don't have deodorant marks. I don't think I do. No, I don't know, I do have a hair there. Oop, now it's gone. Um, yeah, I was able to get it over. I slid, like put one sleeve on the other one I bent over and because the hole's so big, I got it over my head without hurting myself. I'm so excited. And it doesn't matter that this dressy cow neck shirt because I have this so I can, you know, there's my dressy cow neck shirt, but then I can just zip it up and it looks like I'm all casual now, you know? Ha!
glorious. So I look casual and I look like I have my maroon. I actually look somewhat fashionable right now. Um, and my belly is big, but like, you know, I have extra space in this hoodie, which I love this hoodie, super comfy. Um, yeah, so then I was like, I'm getting dressed up. Ooh, I'm getting dressed up. So my hair was a disaster. It's been a disaster for Lord knows how long. What was cute today was me trying to teach my son how to get my hair back in a, in a, like, in a low bun with a scrunchie. That's very hard to explain. Um, <laughs> that could be a good college essay. You know, what I learned when my mom had breast cancer, how to put her hair in a low bun with a scrunchie. But um, I'm pretty good with my flat iron. What was interesting is um, I combed my hair through or brushed as best I could. I mean, it's gonna get all frizzy when I go outside anyway. I don't really super care. Um, I care more about what the front looks like than the back because I'm hoping to be at the top of the bleacher so no one will see my back anyway. And I don't really care what the back looks like. I just don't want it to look like a rat's nest. But I was able to, when we went out for dinner last week, I was able to reach to flat iron my hair. And I could not do that this time, which was interesting. Um, I usually part my hair on the other side, but this is just the way that it was going. So I mostly just tilted my head to the side. And it's something with the right arm. Like I'm able to do a lot of stuff on my left side, but not as much stuff on my right side. And I don't know if that's because I'm a righty. I don't really know, but I did the best I could. I'm gonna leave it as is. I could put some product in, but I haven't washed it in a while. So it's kind of icky anyway, just like whatever. And I could just tuck it behind my ear. And like, this is like what I normally look like. Um, I usually would wear mascara, but I don't really care. But I put on concealer and I didn't really put foundation on because I'm gonna be wearing a mask anyway. Um, even though we're outside, and if someone makes some comment, oh, I can't wait to give a comment back. Um, it, it's dumb for me to not wear my mask even though we're outside. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go crazy like with earrings or anything, but my hair looks relatively normal, and I have some like blush on, and I put a little bit of lip gloss on, which will be gone anyway when the mask comes on, but I feel normal. I feel normal and as I'm, as I'm in pain when I move my shoulders, but I feel normal-er, and that makes me feel really, really, really good. What I have to consider is like, I can't carry more than five pounds, so normally I'd have like a chair to sit on on the bleachers, and like a blanket, and all the things that like, you know, moms bring to events like that to be comfortable, but I can't carry it. So I don't know how I'm gonna handle that. The biggest things I really need are um, my purse and a water bottle. I don't think those are five pounds. I don't really know. We'll have to see how things go. I, I, I don't even know. Um, but I'm excited that I'm like wearing like normal clothes, like beyond what I would wear to a doctor's appointment where I don't really care, where people can see me and I don't have to like hide thinking I look like crap. And if the back of my head looks like a rat's nest, like, I don't care, I couldn't reach. That's the best I can do. Um, I do have quite a bit of pressure in my boobs, like, right now. Mostly because the meds have worn off, so I'm going to eat something. And then, um, ah, take my meds. And, uh, yeah, and, and go and pray to God that I can make it through halftime. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, be picked up and come home and know that I had a little bit of normalcy in my day and I'm hoping that people aren't around me so much and just give me a distant like wave and have that be the end of it. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to later and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have, ah, uh, even though I have stabs of pain right now, which means to sit down, I'm so happy to visually see I'm looking at the phone like old Jen back again. Um, it's definitely a, a transformation, you know? Like you can scoop out all this tissue out of my sternum and my innards, but damn it, like nothing's gonna stop me. You know why? Because I'm a badass. All right, have a wonderful weekend. And if it's Wednesday, have a wonderful weekend that's coming up.